<laughs> this is a balloon. See that? <laughs> it looks like as if, like as if it have been um, you know. You know they see that with flowers like the piece make a water piece with flower, piece it, piece the paper on it and then stick it on the balloon. And it become that little hard thing. But I have been given the task to turn this into a globe. Well, well, not really turn it into a globe, but you know, to draw basically the map of the world on this and draw it in a way so that it, somebody can paint it. So they'll paint in the world, so they'll put in their green, their brown, their, their whitish, their, their bluish, represent the, the oceans and so on. <laughs> so let's see if I can do this, I can get this done. I am going to be using some form of reference on the computer here. Let's see what I can find. So I started off by doing a light outline of the map on on the balloon. I started to go a little darker with the pencil so that I could see it a little clearer. I don't know you guys, but this thing is harder than I thought. <laughs> Be able to paint or color whatever you want to do with it, right? 
maybe line outstanding. I'm trying my best after the erase all the rest of the pens. I might be a little task. Yeah, so that's about it guys. Just finish darkening that. It doesn't look too bad. I think that's the best I can do, man. Yep. I'm Jatika. I'm actually very much impressed by this. Very much impressed. Check this out. Yeah, so some of this scrap wood from cutting the threads for my step. I'm going to use that to to make a little stool to sit on. Yeah, let's see how that go. Okay, so what I have here is just the edges from what I cut off for the threads. This is the end of it. So I'm going to use that for the legs. And then I have an extra piece of that of, of the 2 by 12 that I use for the tread. The treads. I'm going to use that for for the basically for the seating area. Yeah. So I'm thinking that I want this um stool to be around 18 inches 18 inches um high. So I'm going to cut this. So about 16 and the inch and a half, seven and a, 17 and a half inches, it's fine. So I'm going to cut this about 16 inches, alright? Okay, so that looks like about right, but um, I'm not sure what I think I'm trying to do here. Huh. Okay, I decided I'll just go simple. Going to fancy will just spoil it for me. I'd have the right tools. <laughs> so, simplicity we used to survive. This is it. Basically, I just batten those legs together on the seat with some sheet rock screws, two and a half inch long. So I'm just going to mark it to notch it. 
so that I can use a piece of two by four as a brace here to just straight keep the legs straight on both sides. Okay, so I ran out for a few minutes. When the time I came back, it was dark. Basically, what I did, I just launched this side here. Yeah. And I put up a two by four, and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Yeah. Yeah. As I was light, I wasn't recording, but then I forgot to put on the light on this one. Okay, so the process in um, in cutting this notch is basically I just well first of all I put the blade to the height to the depth that I want to notch, and you know I just did the usual way I cut on both sides, which is, which is basically the the opening, and then I make a series of cuts, and then I just use my hammer and knock it off. I then use the chisel to to knock to um to finish clean it out. I did the same thing on the next side, and I place my two by four in between there and I give it a screw on either side and that was it and basically here's the finished product I even took some time off to carve out L and V which basically L is for Lawrence and V is for my wife's initial which is vanilla yeah so here's the finished product and it's <coughs> Quite nice and it's strong too, huh? Check it out. Not wobbling, nothing. I can shake with it. You know, it's solid. Quite impressed by how this thing came out. <coughs> I carved it off and then I just um painted it. Interesting, huh? So this is it. This is it. This is it. Yep. Hope you enjoyed this video. Now. We just gonna clean Emu's cage. Why is it rocky? <laughs> you know, someone told me to sell them this cage. Sell them Emu's cage. Well. I no longer have any chickens and I don't think I'm going to get any more fall. So I just figure why not just clean it out for them. And you know the weekend approaching, they say they should come and pick it up for the weekend. So I just figure I don't gonna let the weekend come and then I have to rush to pick it up to um, clean it up or give it to them in that mess. So I figure let me just take out all the sawdust, clean it up and afterward hose it down. Hey, I actually like to see this, you know. These things look. I <laughs> I made stool in the past, but I think that's the first time I make a stool. You see, as I get in, as I get in a little bit more exposed to the wooden stuff, learning about the saw, as I have a saw because you know, back in the days, just hand saw. Like you see that little stool right under that, that under that box there, <laughs> and so and nail and hammer that make that. Eh? They had no power saw. They had no drill. Nothing. Didn't had no screws, didn't had no proper wood. It's just a bunch of scrap wood. Well, I mean, that is scrap wood too, you know what I mean? I mean, if you look at that, right? <coughs> if this thing doesn't get burnt or stolen, this thing is going to last me a lifetime. <laughs> Trust me. Because when you see it there, especially if I decide to paint it, oh boy, this is going to last me forever. <laughs> It's nice to be able to do certain things on your own. You check. Because not only is it going to um, save you money, because you don't have to be able to, you don't have to pay people to do it for you. But, you know, there are instances where you can even make money. 
because people will see you doing certain projects for yourself and they're gonna want you to do it for them and then they're gonna ask you to pay them they aren't say they'll pay you to do it for them and that's ways of making money on the side so easy speaking of which I have the exact amount of material remaining to make another one just like that. I can make it for somebody for 250 Send me a message. Developing some skills, you know. My next move, what I want to start doing, man, you know, every month, see if I can buy some form of tool. Check this out, people. I just, I well, I already made that Young Enterprising um, logo some time ago, a while back. But I just place it on some shirts and some sweaters and some long sleeves. You check? And I develop a little bit of merch. Check out the merch in the description link below, all right? I can work on a little project there. Try and finish up a little project here. That's the next move. Outside they're blazing boy. Hey, hey. That mango looking like it's ready on the tree. I think I go in for you. Wait right there. Juicy mango. I think I'll leave that for Lily. And she come will share it half half somehow. Juicy mango. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Yeah, there's a few more things that I have to get done. I have to go and pick some sorrel. I have to make some sorrel juice. And then I have to. Oh, I got news that my vehicle should be back on the road soon. Yeah great news so yeah anyway take it easy guys like comment subscribe you know let me know your thoughts in the comment section below let me know what you think about this video you know wasn't much you know i don't know if you can learn a thing or two from it but you know if you need any information just contact me if you have any business just contact me let me know what you're selling Yeah, bless up. <laughs> yes, my lion. You're gonna rise in. Come and say, take it to the world, take it to the world.